Hey guys, so let me tell you what happened. So if you didn't see my video about over a month ago, I told you guys that I was gonna be leaving the country for 30 days and I went on this long, great vacation for over 30 days and I'll leave a link to my Instagram because that's where all the pictures are so you can see everything that I did and everywhere that I went. But I did say that I was gonna be vlogging during that trip and there's a reason why that didn't happen. Well, I was in Barcelona for maybe about five hours and then my wallet suddenly went missing. Uh, so that was the first red flag. And then my phone just suddenly went missing. And if you saw my video from Taiwan, I was doing all my vlogging for my phone because I actually bought a Nexus 6P for that trip. I wasn't able to really record anything. I did have my camera. I didn't have internet throughout most of the trip. So that's why you guys didn't hear from me uh, for like over a month. That's why you didn't see any videos post on here, but I'm back now. I uh, got back, uh, first thing I did was replace my phone, so I ended up getting a Galaxy S7 Edge, which I'm liking the phone. But another thing that I found waiting for me when I got home was this thing, which I forgot I ordered. But this is another smartphone that I ordered. Um, it's quite interesting. I don't plan on using this, but I want to just show you guys this phone. So this is called the Posh Micro X, and it is the world's smallest Android smartphone, probably the world's smallest smartphone in general, but it's 2.4 inches, it's very small. Let's go ahead and take a look. So as you can probably already see, this phone is freaking tiny. Uh, the packaging is smaller than the Galaxy S7 Edge, which this is a 5.5 inch phone, but it's a pretty small 5.5 inch phone and the packaging is smaller. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, this is very small. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I feel like there actually are some practical use cases for this phone, but let's go ahead and look at what you get inside the box. It comes with a battery, uh, which is 650 milliamp hours, which honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it lasted days on end just because it's so small. It comes with a pair of headphones, really cheap, and then it comes with a micro USB charging cable and then an AC adapter right here in the box. So that's everything that comes in the box. And I'm actually pretty impressed that it comes with the micro SD card slot because it is a cheap phone. It's like 40 bucks on Amazon and I'll leave that link in the description if you want to check it out. So the resolution is 240 by 432, which on a 2.4 inch screen phone, isn't that bad. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look terrible either. I mean, I think it's exactly what you'd expect on a phone like this. It's a pretty standard Android experience. There's no app drawer is the first thing that I'm noticing, but I don't think that'd be useful anyways. Everything is here on the home screen. Um, and I'm actually curious to see what typing on this feels like, because I feel like this is a usable phone, but other than typing, everything else you should be able to do. So let's go ahead and see. Um, I've already logged in on my, on my account and stuff. So let's go ahead and see. If I can only that small. Okay. Okay. I can kind of type. Let me not go into my contacts. All right. Let's see what we can actually install on this phone. So I've installed a couple of apps. So Instagram, YouTube music, Netflix, Spotify. Unfortunately, apps like Snapchat and Pokemon Go aren't going to work on this phone. So quick update. I lied to you guys. Everything actually works. Uh, Pokemon Go and Snapchat, I just had to update the Google Play Store one more time, but everything works. Not that you should ever use Snapchat because holy crap, that is some bad quality. But Pokemon Go might be a little bit more interesting, so let's go ahead and look at that. Hey, it's actually working. And it actually, it's actually running pretty well, surprisingly. All right, so we're gonna try and catch this on a 2.4 inch screen. Let's see if we can do it. So here we are, we're, this is live, people. All right, let's see if it actually works. All right, I can't actually find the Rattata. It doesn't work really well with the AR because it just kind of flips out, as you just might have seen, but it's actually working pretty well. It's surprisingly, surprisingly well. Um, but yeah, so you can actually play Pokemon Go with this. So just grab this, take it on a run, and you'll be good to go. So this is a rear facing camera on this phone. I don't think it's very good. It doesn't look terrible on the screen itself, but I don't think it's gonna look very good on my 4K monitor. But anyways, quick look around, you can see my new artwork. If any of this actually looks good, I doubt it. All right, so I've gotta say, I'm actually more impressed with this than I thought I would be. It's a pretty capable phone, as long as you install some type of keyboard that allows you to use swipe gestures, because typing on this 
honestly is kind of a mess and it's kind of ridiculous for a phone this small. But other than that, if you just want a simple phone that you can do like Chromecast streaming on or anything like that, or you want like a media server that you can just use as a remote or something, or something in your car or for music when you're running, it's actually pretty nice to have a phone this small. I don't know if I could ever live with a phone this small, but if I'm out running or something, I actually might take this with me, just load some music on an SD card, and then just take this, because I can just fit this in the palm of my hand with a Bluetooth headphone. So um, that's been the Posh Mobile Micro X240. Long name for a very small phone. Again, it's like $40, so I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really interesting uh, phone. But if you guys want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. and have more videos in the future. I am back in the country, so that's why you didn't see any videos for such a long time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.